What's going on, nerds? My name is Matt Nelson, aka The Muscular Nerd, and this is another episode of Just The Tip. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about RPE. What is it? How to break it down? And the easiest way to understand and utilize this in your training. First off, what is RPE? Well, RPE stands for Rate of Perceived Exertion. And before we go any further, I want to break down that middle word that I just said, perceive. So to perceive something means to like use the senses to identify it, right? So you identify what it is through your senses. And we have five senses, right? Sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Now, we're not gonna taste the RPE. We're not gonna smell the RPE. We're not gonna hear the RPE. So the two we go off of to perceive how to judge RPE or how to choose an RPE are sight, visual, being able to see the lift, and touch, how it felt, how the actual weight felt in your hands, on your back, whatever it might be. Okay, so now that we know how to perceive things, let's talk about, let's talk more about RPE. So RPE is a scale based, uh, is essentially a scale of one to 10, with 10 being maximal effort and one being little to no effort. And the way people rate these uh, are, is based off of difficulty, right? Based off of how you perceive the lift. How did it look? How did it feel? And this becomes rather difficult because something can look relatively easy but feel relatively difficult. Or vice versa. Something could look insanely difficult but it may have felt really easy. And so how do you choose an RPE when both of those things don't correspond together? Well, the other way to judge RPE is to think about it from a percentage standpoint. So like an 8 RPE being an 80% or a 9 RPE being 90%. Because then it kind of gives you a weight that, to shoot for, which helps ease your mind. And then if that ends up being easier than the difficulty, right? You perceive it to be easier, then you can move up. So by filling out an RPE chart with your numbers, you'll actually have a better grasp of how to use RPE. And this is the hack for RPE. So if something felt like a nine, but looked like a seven, just take the average of the two, which would be an RPE eight. If RPE eight was not your goal for the top set of the day, then you either need to go up or down to adjust to hitting your goal. If you overshot, obviously you're kind of done for the day. If you undershot, you need to add some weight to the bar. And by doing that little hack, it'll really help you out. So, film yourself so that you can visually see it. Sight is one of the senses, and that is part of perception. And then also go by your touch. How did it feel? And then take the average of those two, and that's kind of your RPE for the day. Now this only applies for when RPE doesn't correspond with each other. Like when it looks like one thing but feels like another. If they both correspond, then obviously you kind of got it. And to be even more honest about RPE is it just takes time to understand who you are as a lifter and what you're capable of. Anyways, I hope these tips helped you out. I see a lot of people using RPE or switching to RPE or talking about RPE. And so I figured I would give my two cents on the story. That's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. I'm out of here. Peace out, nerds. It's lonely at the top. I'm tired of having company. Uh, so while you busy trying to fit in, I'ma stand out and view my life through this lens to see how it pans.